Hey everybody, this is another haul video. Um, this is Hobby Lobby, um, Big Lots, Dollar Store, Walmart, just all over the place haul. Um, this first one is Hobby Lobby. It's a cute little stamp. Came with some bling at the top. I'm not sure. Just says, I guess, Prima. I guess it's a Prima stamp. Um, this is, I've seen this on Lovely Scrappins. I believe that's her YouTube name. Video. She had these on a cute little card she made. Just dangled charms from them. And I finally found some. And then I've got these little glass bottles. That's the jewelry shop is the name of that. And then these little, I think it's called cuckoo clocks. Oh, I don't know if you can see them. They're so cute. Got those 38 cents and just some little eyelets, spare parts eyelets and like um neutrals and earth tone colors let's we'll see i don't know if i showed this one this is a little clock charm and then let's see i've got this tim holtz stamp And this is, um, I guess, the visual artistry. I'm not sure what collection this is from. I've seen it a couple of times. I'm sure you all know. So, um, and then I picked up these two clearance stamps. Just says today, and it's got some little lines to journal on. And I also picked up this little fairy. You can't even see her. She's covered up by a sticker. I probably should have took that off. But I got that for um, $5.99. And this is uh, Inka Dinka Do right here. Oh, and the other one is uh, Stamp Abilities. This one. Sorry about that. I forget. I'm new at this. Let's see. Um, the Paper Studio, they had these 50% off, all their uh, little ribbon trims. They were all 50% off, so I picked up some keys. And um, this was, this is Ribbon FX, and all this is is, um, well, it's not going to cooperate at all. Just some. Um, Little black beads, strung black beads. And we also have these were on sale. I think they were might have been missing a couple or something. But 34 cents. I had actually picked up the same ones for like 99 cents. And then I get to the clearance section and find them for, yeah, their original 99 cents. And I found them for 34 cents, and I think it might have been missing one. And then this one was missing the, uh, oh no, it has the leaves. Okay, well, wasn't missing anything. It has the leaf. And it's 34 cents. So, cool. Alright. And let's see, I got some craft magnets. Just, they're just a little thin, thin magnet. I'm gonna use them for closures. And then I picked up this uh, Tim Holtz paper stash, the um, Lost and Found. And it's just the, um, I know I've seen this a million times and on YouTube, so I'm sure you guys have seen this. 
But uh, it's just the uh, paper stash. If y'all want to see it, you just let me know and I'll make you a video of it. Alright, and then we picked uh, picked up quite a few distress inks. I picked up, uh, I think it's called Puma Stone. Is that how you say that? And let's see, tea dye, black soot, faded jeans, and barn door. And then I had to go get another blending tool, but I forgot to pick up the little pads because I think I have more inks than I have pads now, so I have to go back. And get some pads. Okay, I think that's all for Hobby Lobby. Let's go to Big Lots. Big Lots, I literally had like five minutes in the store before it closed. Um, so this is what I managed to find in five minutes. Some little dollar blingy brads. And some uh, color box full photo mats. And these were only a dollar, and they're just, they have little shiny, I think there's three a piece of each. Well, I think I just made the glare worse. But anyway, I picked that up, that was a dollar. Um, DCWV Garden Party Stack, and I think this was four dollars or seven I can't remember how much this was but uh I picked this up at Big Lots I had like five minutes and they were like oh no ma'am we're closing so that's Big Lots that's all I can manage to grab in five minutes and let's see, this is Walmart right here. I got these, um, I've taken them out of the package and played with them a little bit. Some Studio G. I like the font on these. I really like that. It's pretty cool. And then, um, I just, I've already stamped one off this, but this is the Studio G. Just a little dollar. It says G Thanks and, uh, Best of Friends. And then I got this little box. It was 50 cents. I'm going to alter it. It's just a little paper. Um, I forgot what they call it. So, like, chipboard box, I guess you would say. And then I picked up, I don't know if I got that one. Just a roller. Some folk art paint for 99 cents. This is the some daffodil yellow. And just some black folk art paint, some tacky glue, some of these things that, um, these cable ties that people are using to bind their mini albums. I picked up some of some earth tone colors. I don't know if you can see. I'm going to try that out. I haven't tried that yet. And then, I think that's it for Walmart. I think I got these actually at a family dollar. And if you're from the south you probably really know what a family dollar is. So these were like a quarter a piece. They were from the Easter and I'm just gonna use them like I've got my acrylic blocks in here right now. Okay and then let's see this is from the dollar store. I just got um, a bit I needed a big paintbrush to Paint stuff. And this was a pretty good paintbrush for a dollar. I mean, none of the things are coming out, so got that big paintbrush. Um, they had like a little mixture of glitters. And I'm not real big on using glitters, so I figured these little bitty packets right here would be great. Because I just find it so messy, I just don't want to play with it. But I'm gonna I've got a little project I need some those colors. Um, aluminum full. I don't know if this is going to work because it's the cheap kind. But I have a steampunk project that I need that for. Picked up some sandpaper. I'm going to cut them into little pieces because I've been using all my little nail files for um, 
my distress projects. But that's my haul, so thank y'all.